There's so many ways to describe Fred Eichner, but the word that I would always use first is altruist. Fred is someone who's made a huge difference in our community and in our country. Fred is an activist, a philanthropist, a business person who has, in many ways, held up half the sky of the cultural community in Chicago. Fred is astute, generous, and kind. He's also humble. He may not tell everybody about it, but um, he knows how to move his feet, and he's a great dancer. Fred Eichner is a down-to-earth guy, born and raised in DeKalb, Illinois. Dropped out of school, bought this printing press, started printing the reader, and then leveraged it into investments in radio and newspapers and TV stations. He's a great businessman, and he's done unbelievably well, and he's taken the proceeds of all of that and he's turned it into social action, he's turned it into cultural advances. In terms of politics, Fred is one of the great progressive forces in the country, supporting progressive candidates, Democratic candidates, liberal causes. He has this powerful, burning sense of social justice. He's fearless and fierce. Fred was early to bed, early to rise, he worked like hell and he organized. That's how we passed marriage equality in Illinois. Fred Eichner and many others banded together for an important cause that advanced civil rights in our state and indeed our country. Among those causes that Fred has been deeply involved in is the battle against AIDS. Sitting here in the Alpha Wood Gallery that was created for this extraordinary exhibit, Art AIDS America, which is the history of HIV AIDS in the United States. The Alpha Wood Gallery, in addition to presenting this exhibition, has partnered with several community organizations and you can have HIV testing here and elsewhere. His activism saved lives. One of the big causes in Fred's life is preservation and architecture, understanding in a lot of ways architecture defines our culture, defines us. The Auditorium Theater itself wouldn't be standing if it wasn't for his support. The choice to support the Auditorium Theater and Unity Temple were significant. These are two iconic buildings that I think are world landmarks. Buildings with a certain democratic inspiration He's greatly expanded the cultural offerings in Chicago. Fred helped bring the Joffrey Ballet to Chicago, and he's on the board of the Art Institute. He doesn't sit on boards just to use his name. He participates. Once he is involved, he's involved. It has not gone unnoticed nationally the kind of leader in the arts Fred has been and through his foundation here in Chicago. President Obama acknowledged that and appointed Fred to the Board of Trustees of the Kennedy Center for the Performing Arts. Fred does not do things for recognition. Fred does things because he thinks they're right, because he sees an opportunity to help. He's the North Star when it comes to getting things done without having to claim credit for yourself. Fred, I'm personally grateful for your friendship, but more than that, I love you, brother, because you've helped make this a better community. You've helped make this a better country. Thanks for a lifetime of social commitment. I'm very happy to know you. Fred, you're my hero. Fred, thank you for all you've done for me. I look forward to continuing to work with you. Fred, thank you on behalf of all of us. I love you.